This can only be fun. Uh, our next guest has been on a few times already. He's one of our favorites and maybe one of yours from, you know, Reno 911. 17 again, The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, the state. We could go on and on with Viva all the great variety. stuff. Yep. Yeah, I mean, just uh, great stuff. And uh, he's back to talk about the uh, new Reno 91 reboot that's uh, happening on uh, Quibi. Please uh, welcome the one and only Thomas Lennon. Thomas, good morning. Good morning. Hey, thanks for thanks for doing this. We appreciate it. Oh gosh, thanks for having me, you guys. Well, long time fan long of time. your career. Yeah. Oh. There had to be two somewhere, right? Well, <laughs> it's like that's that old joke. Hey, hey I bought the new Smash Mouth, uh, Smash Mouth album. Oh, you're the one. Yeah, yeah. no, it, it's just funny because the people that I know in my life that really appreciate your humor and all of the shows that you have done, I'm like, it, it was just too hip for the room. I think that was the problem. We're always talking about how, like, how did people not get this? Well, you know what's in, what's interesting is now that. The, the show that we're doing now, the the reboot of you know nine one one, that's by far our biggest crossover. That's our breakout. I mean, that's the hits for us. Absolutely. Um, up, up until then, we've been doing real, real culty shows like The State, mm-hmm. like Viva Variety and stuff. So, so this was our, this is without a doubt, this is our like. The you, Cadillac of our comedy franchise. You ruined uh, just ordering Baba Ganoush for like every single person <laughs> I've ever met. So Baba Ganoush. See that? <laughs> you see, uh, last week we did we did Porcupine Racetrack. Uh, all of us singing it. Everybody from the state. I'm so. It's worth, a, it's worth a Google if you haven't seen it. Just Google the state. You know, Porcupine Racetrack. I absolutely will. Yeah, it's 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 well worth it. <laughs> You you had me at Porcupine Racetrack. Well, yeah. I, the thing is, I'm going to yeah. trust yeah. Thomas Lennon recommending something yes. to me. Yes. I. I. You know. Uh, I. You've been on a couple times before, and and I I've thrown the word genius around, and uh, well, that was about me. But in terms of you, we. Uh, I know. That's, I had to do it because that's his sense of humor. Anyway, I I always uh, I always talk about uh, Seventeen again as uh, just one of the most delightful movies, but because of you. Everybody sort of looks at me funny when I say, that's one of my favorite movies. Stephanie's looking at me funny right now. No, it's fine. But I... Hey, uh, hey Mike, uh, you broke up uh, after you said that I'm America's most incomparable genius. I got <laughs> uh, here's, here's what I'll say. One thing, a couple things about Seventeen again. Throw it up on the screen tonight uh, after you've watched all the Quibi uh, Reno 911s, of course. Sure. It holds up. Yes. It's a fun movie. Uh, I got to slap Zach F on many, many times, and we're still friends. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you this. Maybe I told you last time I was on. Do you know that uh, after the movie 17 again, uh, I got a call from Zach F on one Halloween, and he was like, do you think I could borrow the Lieutenant Daniel outfit for Halloween? <laughs> wow. And I'm like... The, the real Lieutenant Daniel outfit, the one that comes with a real gun? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, of course you can. You're that, that, <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, so he, yeah, I just gave him my real... I mean, probably in hindsight, you know, in the, in the new world, I shouldn't have just given him a gun. No. No. Wander around parties too. But, you know, you, you live and you learn, guys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> We're here with Thomas Lennon and uh, Reno 911, the reboot on Quibi. Believe it or not, uh, you're not the only one who slums on this show. We actually had Jeffrey Katzenberg on uh, for the launch, and uh, he had nothing but great things. Nah, actually, he didn't mention you at all. But I, I find it uh, really, why am I, Why do I do this? You know what it is? It's, he's been on so many times, I feel like he and I can riff like this. You're gonna do this in front of this man. We don't. We do not deserve Thomas Lennon. Do you understand? This world does not deserve him. Uh, Jeffrey, it's fun to work for uh, Jeffrey Katzenberg because he's like he's a nice guy, he's a funny guy, but also he's also a, sort of a giant mogul. And then every once in a while, he gets a little scary in a meeting. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I I uh. Yeah, he can go. He, he can go from being the funniest dude in the world, and then he's also got a look of like I am the boss. Sometimes you're like, oh right, 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 right. Yeah, I I tried to be I tried to be a little bit funny, which is the only funny I can be with him, just to see. And he actually did have a a really nice sense of humor. I was surprised, but I was terrified to try and goof around with him. 
This is, uh, uh, I'm so interested you say that because this is my test with every person I've ever met who I was a little bit afraid of. Um, the biggest ones being uh, when I met Christian Bale um, on uh, Dark Knight Rises mm-hmm. and when I met uh, Clint Eastwood on 1517 to Paris. I always try to make a really weird joke just to, like, di- to kind of dip my toe in the water and also to show, like, look, I'm afraid of this person. If I make a joke, I'm going to be less afraid. Yes. So let's try it. Yeah. So- and uh, i got to say, both Christian Bale, who seems scary, hilarious, and then Clint Eastwood, I was sitting down in the scene in 1517 Paris, and I said, hey, Clint, is there any chance that my character, the school principal, would have a giant raven perched on his shoulder for this scene? <laughs> and Clint Eastwood cracked in, in half. He laughed so hard. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wow, Dirty Harry. Okay, you never know. That wow. Is, that is so Thomas Lennon. I'm so glad you do stuff like that, man. Thomas Lennon is here. Uh, Reno 911, the reboot on uh, on Quibi. Um, so uh, is it what we, we want to expect? And uh, is... 10 minutes going to be enough time, I guess, because everybody's wondering about Quibi. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Here's my feeling about it, and I've seen now, there's 25 Reno 911s that are coming out. Uh, And the fact that we did them for Quibi, which is neat, by the way, when you see the the app, it's astonishingly smooth. Like, if you're holding your phone and you flip it either way, it just perfectly shows you. There's no, like, glitches. Wow. Um, But the cool thing about it is... Even if we weren't doing shows for Quibi, I don't want it. I would not want to do like a half hour long, which is really 21 minutes, 30 seconds uh, of Reno 911. Check out, watch a six and a half minute Reno 911, and then call me back and tell me if you missed anything, because I know you will not have missed anything. It's All right. just like, it's, it's, it's tighter, faster, leaner. We get right in. We don't, there's no like, there's no weird like hot dog filler in the middle. It's just, we just are doing it. Well, I mean, that yeah, show... The hot dog filler is in my shorts. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Uh, All right, D-joke. Yeah. Now we're really going to be good friends. Now we're friends. friends. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. I was going to say, Reno 911 sort of was set up for that uh, quick thing anyway, because it's just little vignettes. Yeah. So it was a re- I think it's a really easy transition for you guys. I, I, I think, if any, I mean, once in a while in the new Quibi shows, there's like an episode that, that runs like for two you know, two back to back, but almost all of them are just like six, seven minutes of an exact episode of Reno 911. Well, here's what's interesting. There's as many things in the shows, like there's as many crimes and calls and things. It's just, they're just shorter and faster. Okay. Okay. Well, listen, we, uh, we know you're doing a lot of press, uh, for Reno 911, the reboot on uh, Quibi and, uh, Katzenberg did say that it was I can't remember when we had him on but he said it was free for 90 days so we got at least a couple of months left mm-hmm. and you can try it for I would, free uh, I would hop on that yeah yeah um, and there's like three brand new ones today and then like another one a day for like quite a while okay cool um, and well, among the best I've ever seen also if you ever have seen me play Joe Exotic there's a little treat. Have you guys seen my Joe Exotic? I haven't seen it. I'm, I'm looking at the picture right yeah. now. It almost looks like uh, uh, it almost looks like Rain Wilson is Joe Exotic. Uh, uh, maybe he did, but there's definitely me. Okay. So later today, if you go to my Instagram or my Twitter, there's a pretty amazing video I shot yesterday where Lieutenant Dangle and Joe Exotic meet. <laughs> oh. oh my God! We'll see. Yeah. All right. In Ta- about an hour, it'll be posted. Yep. Thomas Lennon, everybody, one of our favorites. Uh, thanks for doing this, man. And uh, we're going to have fun watching Reno 911 on Quibi. Thanks, Thomas. Love to Michigan. Bye, guys.